Welcome to the Gliding Federation of Australia's Daily Inspection video series. In this video, we look at the other tasks and responsibilities a daily inspector can have. Whether after rigging or an in-depth check such as an annual inspection or life extension, gliders are regularly required to have additional independent checks done to ensure everything is still safe. As a daily inspector, you are entitled to perform these checks and sign off the aircraft as being safe to fly. One of the most common tasks you'll be involved in as a daily inspector is rigging and de-rigging of an aircraft. After rigging, many aircraft require an independent check that the controls have been correctly connected. Where a control surface has a manual connection, these are required to be independently checked. On each glider, you need to be aware of which connections are automatic and which are manual, as well as what type of connection is used so you can double check it for safety. By far, the most common will be hotelier connections. Ensure that they cannot be opened. There's several different methods of securing them, so make sure you know what is correct for your aircraft. Other fitting types can be found on older gliders, such as sleeve locks, bolts with split pins, clips, or other types of safety devices. Make sure you can identify how the connections are made and what makes them safe. Several parts of the annual inspection paperwork require a second check of the inspector's work to ensure the aircraft has been correctly reassembled. Here you use your experience to double check the work of someone else. Caution and an extra dose of scepticism are your ally here to ensure that the aircraft is safe to fly. In your check you should look at all the nuts and bolts, push rods and cables, ensuring that they have been correctly secured. That no tools have been left behind. The seat belts have been correctly fitted in the glider. All the panels around the cockpit and instrument panel fastened securely and the canopy is securely fitted to the glider. Changing the tail or nose wheel of the glider is quite common. The small wheel and many forms of bindies, thistles and prickles found on Aussie airfields mean that flats are a frequent occurrence. Each aircraft has a different system of securing the wheels, so you should read your manual first. However, with a few simple tools, the tyre can be extracted, the tube changed and everything fitted again. Obtaining your daily inspector rating is the first step that you can take on the airworthiness path of gliding. Beyond the DI rating are additional airworthiness qualifications that you can obtain. These allow you to sign out progressively more complex work on gliders. Often you will see your club gliders undergoing a large inspection once a year. This deep look is called an annual or form 2 inspection. At extended periods, gliders will undergo a life extension check called a survey. Other ratings allow you to repair gliders, refinish them, rebuild engines, or perform weight and balance calculations. These ratings may be issued individually for each construction type, wood, metal, steel tube, fabric, or composites. We have covered the more common actions a daily inspector may perform beyond the daily inspection itself. A comprehensive list can be found in the Manual of Standard Procedures. In the other videos in this series, you will walk through the daily inspection of the wings, fuselage, and cockpit.